Americans from all different racial backgrounds and ethnicities have poor spending habits bad credit and don't know how to and save and invest their money this is an American issue it's not just a black issue and I want to let you guys know that I understand that poor spending habit, habits overspending people buying things that they really can't afford not spending your money wisely that's an issue that Americans in general have not just black Americans but Americans in general you have a lot of white people with bad credit constantly overdrawing your money you only have two thousand dollars in your bank account in your savings account but you go and buy something that costs two thousand five hundred dollars you overdrew five hundred dollars you have unpaid bills that are behind by two weeks maybe two months you owe the cable company three hundred dollars because you ended a contract and you didn't pay the um, early cancellation fee you have a lot of unpaid bills and you just don't care you continue spending and spending and spending and overdrawing money out your account and spending and spending and missing bills and not paying bills because you don't care poor spending habits you don't know how to budget your money you don't know how to spend your money wisely this is an issue that all Americans from every different racial background have and suffer from but if you was to take a poll or to do a survey on which group of Americans whether that be black white Asian or Hispanic on average has the worst credit I have no doubt that black people would have would 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 on average I have no doubt that we would win because I believe that on average black folk we do have the worst credit and the worst um you know spending habits we have I think that that we have a more of an issue with that than other races and groups of people I feel that Asians and whites on average do invest in their money a little more than we do I believe that they do save their money a little more than we do and I think they spend their money a little wiser than we do you know on average I just want to make it clear that I do realize that Americans in general have an issue with spending their money um, not spending their money wisely but today I want to focus on black people in the hood and I've done this video on my JLove 477 account I'm just gonna do it again I want to talk about black people who live in the hood low-income black people who live in the inner cities who is living in section 8 or housing authority or they may not be living in section 8 they may um, they may just live in the hood they live in the hood they live in these nasty trashy neighborhoods and these these um, filthy unpleasant environments right and you have a, a 2012 um, you have a car that, that like a, a, I say a 2012 Alexis okay with a high ass car note why would you buy a 2012 Alexis when you can buy a 2004 or 2003 you need, to, you need to live within your means you know what I mean you cannot fo afford um, a car that has a high car note 
You know what I mean? You can't afford a car with high insurance right now because you're not balling. You're not fighting. You're not. You're not financially capable of of paying that amount of car insurance every month. You know what I mean? But black people, we our appearance and our image is so important to us. And I think the reason for that is because, you know, we live in a society that has taught blacks to believe that we are inferior. And we have been brainwashed to believe that we are inferior. We have been brainwashed to believe that we're not as attractive. We have been brainwashed to believe that we are ugly. Our pride has been taken away from us to a certain degree and extent. And I think that we try to compensate, you know, for what we lack you know, society taught us that we're dark and we have kinky hair, so we're ugly. So what we try to do is we dress to impress. And we spend tons of money and on, on fancy clothing and name brand clothing and, and fancy shoes and $300 pocketbooks to make ourselves look good and to make, our, uh, to make us feel better about ourselves. You know what I mean? And I think that's the reason why appearance is so important to us. You have a lot of black women that are spending thousands of dollars, you know, per year on weave. You know, you, you have a, a, a electricity bill that's due. Okay. You behind on your gas bill. You behind on your cable bill. You have so many unpaid bills. But instead, and, and first of all, you're working, you're working at a job where you're, you're barely making over minimum wage. And your salary is probably about thirty to $40,000 a year. Okay. But yet, you're going to go and spend $200 on a pocketbook. You're going to go and spend $300 on a pair of shoes. Your priorities are not in order. And this is the reason why you are in the financial crisis that you're in now. This is why you have bad credit. This is why you cannot buy your home. You have bad credit. This is why your bank don't want to, you know, loan you any money because you have bad credit. If you learn how to put the things you need before the things you want, you would not be in a situation that you are today. You would not be in a financial crisis that you are today. Put the things that you need before the things that you want. If you learn how to put your priorities first and get your priorities in order and put the things that are most important before the things that you want and desire, you would not be in the financial crisis that you are today. You wouldn't have the bad credit that you have today. You wouldn't have to pay a high fucking deposit to start your cable service if you had good credit. But you don't have good credit because you put the things that you need, you want, but for the things you need. You are so obsessed with your appearance. You are so obsessed with your image that you don't even care if you're broke. You don't care if you're in debt by a thousand dollars. As long as you look good, that's the only thing that's important to you. And that's why you're in the financial crisis that you're in now. This is why you broke and don't got no money in your bank. You got the bill collectors calling you. You owe Old Navy $400. You owe Comcast $300. Okay, because you ended your contract before you were supposed to end it. You had six months left on the contract. And instead of paying the cancellation fee, you just said, fuck it, I ain't paying the bill no more. So you owe them 200 250 you know you you your your, your gas bill is behind, be, be behind your cell phone bill your phone bill i mean you just saying you you just just saying fuck everybody your lights about to be turned off you don't make that much money you owe you you, you got an electricity bill that's past due you have a gas bill that's past due your heat about to get turned off it's the winter time, bro. You trying to be hot? But no, you don't care because you want some pair of Jordans and some pair of LeBrons. You want to wear some LeBrons. That's all you're worried about. You worried about your fucking image too much and your appearance too much. You don't even care about your electricity bill. Your house fucking barely, and you barely got anything in your house. Don't even got no frontage in your house. Your house, the house empty. Look like you just moved in. Okay. 
Your house look a mess. And the thing that fucks me up is y'all trying to look so good. Y'all look like y'all y'all going to a fucking fashion show or a goddamn um America's Next Top Model with all these outfits you be wearing, looking all dressed out, looking all all nice and flashy. You know, got all these nice clothes on, these big ass earrings, these big hats, and these fancy shoes. And you're broke. You don't got no money. You you're not fooling anybody. We know that you don't got no money. We know that you don't got broken. You look stupid with that fancy ass 2012 car. You should have got a 2006 car because you know you can't afford that high ass car. No. You don't got enough money living above your means. Stop trying to be something you're not. Stop trying to be Holly Berry because you don't got Holly Berry money. Stop stop wasting a hundred dollars on a fucking pair of pants and and when you can be spending a hundred dollars on four pants and get three shirts for a hundred dollars. I went to Target and bought four pants and three shirts for eighty four ninety nine, because I know that I cannot afford to wear the things that these celebrities wear. Because I don't have a million dollars to waste on this money. I don't have the money they have. I'm not a millionaire. I'm not on that financial level. I'm broke, so I'm going to live within my means. Why would I take eighty four dollars and spend eighty four dollars on one pair of pants when I can buy three shirts and four pair of pants for that that amount of money? That's called living within your means. That's called buying things that you can afford. That is black people problem. Y'all want to look good. Y'all want to impress your next door neighbors. Y'all want to press your neighbor and you want to press the guy down the street. Stop spending your money on things you can't afford because you're going to end up broke and it ain't going to hurt nobody but you. It annoys me. These black people be living in the hood on this nasty ass block. Some of the people in my church be dressed like they, they oh my God, they dress like a superstar. Like they look like um, Shaka Khan or something about it or Patty the Bell. I mean, they be dressed out. You be thinking they had a million dollars. And it's like, oh, where you live? You live in the suburbs of Philly? You live in Yay in a Darby or somewhere or Montgomery County? Oh, I live in South Philly. Where? On 22nd Street. You live in the hood dressed like that? Oh, I thought you lived... I mean, you got a nice ass car out, out, out there outside the church. Nice ass clothes. I thought that this woman lived in, in Hollywood some damn where. I thought she, if I ain't know about it, I would have thought she lived in Beverly Hills. You are trying to be something you're not. And that's why you broke. Because you don't even care about your financial situation. You don't even care about your bad credit. All you care about is looking good. You don't care if your bank balance is zero or, or $40 overdrawn. As long as you good, look good, that's the only thing that matters to you. That means your priorities is fucked up. Always trying to impress somebody. Why is looking good so important to you black folk? Learn how to love yourself. You can wear something cheap. It's not what you wear. It's how you wear it. Okay, you spending all this high amount of money on clothes. You can go buy something cheap and still look as good. It's not what you wear. It's how you wear it. You know, name brand clothes are not any better than cheap clothes. It's just that they have a name on it. That's all. Get your priorities in order, black folk. Learn how to invest and save your money. Open your own business. Start your own business. Save, save, save. You never know when you will need money for a rainy day. Something may happen to your house. The whole ceiling may fall in. Where you going to move to? Who going to take you in? If you have money and it's saved like J-Love told you to. Then you have something to fall back on. In case something like this happens. You never know what you're going to be faced with in life. You never know what the next year or the next month holds. For you. You never know what's going to happen. So that's why you always need to have a plan B, C, and D. And if you don't have any money in the bank. If you have poor credit. See if you have good credit. Good credit is good. You know I, I had to learn the hard way. I wanted to start cable with Comcast one time. I have Comcast now. But I wanted to start cable with Comcast. They told me that I, I couldn't one time. They said that I had to pay a $200 deposit. Or something like that. It was high shit. No actually it was Dish TV. I'm not with them any longer. But I had to start it. Um, start um, Put it down with a deposit of like $200 with Dish TV. Even way back when I had a car. You know what I mean. I had to spend so much money because I had bad credit. You know what I mean? Whereas though my cousin, he had good credit, so he could just take his car right, right off the lot. All he had to pay was 25% and take his drive his car right off the lot. They was willing to work with him because he had good credit. But when you have bad credit, people don't trust you. They want nothing to do with you. Get your priorities in order.